Hey y'all, Bear here. It's Tuesday. It's time for some camp cooking. And this week is Backpacker Potato Cakes Part 2. So in the first part of uh, Backpacker Potato Cakes, I broke the potato cake down to the very simplest form I could do, at least try to do. I didn't know how it was going to work, to make a potato cake for a treat on the trail. Something a little different, a uh, little, little spirit booster. And this week, we're going to ramp that up a notch. You know, in the first uh, video, you know, everybody was commenting in on stuff they like to add their, to their potato cakes. You could not do that with the potato cakes that I made in part one. It, they were too, they would fall apart. It just wasn't going to work. They, it, they weren't doughy enough. It was just, just potato flake, and they were very delicate. If you tried to add stuff in there, it was just going to make them crumble. But this week we should be able to do that. I'm gonna once again take oil, water, potato flakes. But this week I'm gonna substitute a third of my potato flakes with Jiffy buttermilk biscuit mix. That's right, I'm gonna use a third of this in place of the potato flakes, which should give us a little bit of a doughy texture, which will hopefully hold together for our add-ins. And we're gonna add in some minced onion, some real bacon bits, some chopped chives, and I got a little smoked pepper sea salt to go in there to season it. And hopefully the cakes are going to hold together because of the biscuit mix. I've used this Just Add Water biscuit mix to make biscuits at camp, and it works great. You get a real nice dough. So let's start mixing stuff up and see how it works. Okay, so last week for my base recipe, I used three quarters of a cup of flakes, one cup of water, approximately. So this week, I'm gonna take half a cup of flakes, and then we need a quarter cup of the Jiffy Buttermilk Biscuit Mix. And I'll be honest, I'm not quite sure what's about to happen here. I haven't tried this at home first. There we go, quarter cup, maybe just a hair over. So let's just incorporate that together first. And I think we're gonna use a teaspoon of onion. Maybe, maybe a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. We're gonna use a teaspoon of the chives. My chives are almost empty. Need more chives. <laughs> I use a lot of these at home. Let's see, how much bacon? How about one, two, three. Oh, how about, how about four good teaspoons of bacon? And some of my smoked, some of my smoked pepper sea salt. Let's incorporate all this, mix all this up. So everything's distributed and spread out in the, in the deal here. And I don't have a sifter, so I'm just kind of crunching up that little bit of some of those little jiffy lumps. The back of the spoon. I'm just kind of giving them a little crush. You know, if you're back backpacking, you could pre-mix this. Well, maybe not the bacon, but pre-mix all the other dry stuff in a Ziploc baggie and just add a little, little water to it at camp and mix it up. All right, let's add our cup of water now. So now we're just going to start mixing it around. We're just going to incorporate it in. That seems like a lot of water, but I swear I reviewed my video and it was three quarters of a cup to a cup of water. We'll see if it starts thickening up here in a second as it absorbs. After 30 seconds to a minute, it does start to thicken. I start to get to a grit or hot cereal like texture at this point. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more potato flake. We're gonna add a tablespoon of potato flake to that. I want, I want that to be a little thicker. How about a teaspoon more of Jiffy? Now what I would suggest is at camp, 
you're not going to have the extra potato flake and jiffy if you pre-mix it. So go slow with your water because you're going to have to adjust by adding the water in to get the right texture that you want. I'd suggest maybe starting with three quarters of a cup of water. I just want to get something that's kind of dough-like. Something I can form little patties with. Now last week, I will say, and I, I read this in Making Potato Cakes in general, was wetting my hands made it easier to form the little patties. There we go. I think I think we're I think we're pretty good now. We've got we've got something that's see it's yeah, I think we can work with that. And it's not doughy. It still feels like mashed potatoes, but slightly different. Let's get a stove going. The point is to end up with something that has enough structure to it that it'll hold its patty shape. Aha! Yeah, y'all, y'all see that? That's what happens when your oil sits too close to your stove at, <laughs> at home. I think I'm gonna give them a little hit of that smoked salt. And these, <laughs> these are kind of starting to puff up a little bit with that dough. While those are cooking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of section off little, little patties to, to do. I up the size of my potato cake on these. <laughs> I realized the mixture had enough structure and I didn't have to make them quite so small. Y'all, y'all look at that goodness. Let's, let's cut one open. See that? <laughs> and look here, this time, just out of curiosity, right out of the spoon here, Drop that guy on there. Oh, that doesn't work. I was curious. <laughs> you gotta shape it in your hand first. <laughs> That's a plate of happiness right there, y'all. I mean, come on. There, there we go, there's our bite. <laughs> oh heck yeah. Oh man, that's awesome. <laughs> Y'all gotta do this. Well it's just that easy. The Jiffy Mix lets you add stuff in there and holds it together still pretty good. I mean these actually have like a little Let's see if I can get one up here for you. I'm good buddy with bacon. See so there's there's like, you see that? There's like a little biscuity texture in there. Not much. It's mostly mashed potato. Just just a little bit. We're good. Now, look here. I've got one more backpacker 
potato cake idea that we're going to try next month. And so you look for part three. But until then, we'll see you on the trail.